A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, and he came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing if you are neither the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one you do not know, even he who comes after me, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These things took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel for third Sunday of Advent is from St. John who had been already a disciple of John the Baptist. Now, there was an official delegation sent by the religious authorities of Jerusalem to inquire about Baptist work. They did not come with a good intention because news had reached Jerusalem that crowds flocked to St. John the Baptist as he preached at the river Jordan and baptizing the people. The Jewish leaders were very much annoyed and angry, saying, How did this man dare go ahead with the religious movement without taking them into account? And so the delegation puts forward a few questions to him to know who he is. The questions are the following. One. Are you the Christ? 2. Are you Elijah? 3. Are you the prophet? To all these questions, John's reply was negative, saying, I am not the Christ, I am not Elijah, and I am not the prophet. Now, the delegation was at a loss and they could not go back to Jerusalem empty-handed because they have to report to the leaders by whom they are sent who John is. Who are you then? they asked. John gave a perfect answer saying, I am a voice that cries in the wilderness. Make a straight way for the Lord. Look at the delegation. They just could not accept the answer of John as a result. They went back home with darkness in their minds and hatred in their hearts. That means they did not want to know actually who he is. But they just wanted to know what is in their crooked minds. Friends, no amount of evidence, no amount of conviction can change the heart of a proud person. John was truly a humble man who realized his littleness and nothingness at the sight of Jesus. He understood his call and determined to carry out those plans of God faithfully, whatever be the cost. John had a tremendous respect and love for Jesus who gradually asked his own disciples to follow Jesus 
who is greater than he. He expressed best his feeling for Jesus saying, he must grow greater and I must grow smaller. Brothers and sisters, if we were to be asked similar type of questions, who are you and what is the purpose of your life? What sort of answers we will give? We may have our opinions about ourselves. Others may have different opinions about us. But what counts is God's opinion about us. Are we able to say that the purpose of my life is to follow Christ faithfully and lead others to him? I think for our reflection, we could think of asking the following questions. One, what do I think of myself? Two, what do people think of me? Three, what does God think about me? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, always we think of ourselves higher than the others. We feel our opinion is better than the others. At your sight, Lord, help us to realize our littleness and nothingness. And be with us to carry out our task as Christians faithfully. Help us to be joyful in all that we do for your glory. Amen.